Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMine Blocks. So this video, I just want to shoot a quick video showing you how to mine XDNA. So this is an updated video. Uh, previously, as you would have seen on screen, that XDNA was a dual mineable coin. You can mine it alongside uh, Ethereum, and it previously uses the uh, Kekak algorithm. That's changed now. It's changed over to a brand new um, algorithm called Hex. Um, so there's a different way of mining it, and that's what I'll be showing you in this video. At the moment, it's only for NVIDIA miners, but um, I'll do an update again once uh, the AMD mining is uh, available to you. So I'll be showing you on the work of free machine, which is the machine I normally use for mining burst coin. Um, this machine has a GTX 1050 Ti, and that's the machine that I'll be doing the demo on. So you can see here the miner is currently mining, and we're getting 4.2 uh, we'll call it for simplicity mega hashes uh, per second. Uh, it does sort of fluctuate between sort of 4 to 4.4. Um, I'll come back to the clock speeds and everything in a moment. So, this miner is a new miner, uh, one that I've not used uh, very much before. So, it's the Z Enemy miner and it's a closed source miner and it has a 1% uh, dev fee. So, I'll put a link in the video description for where you can download that from, get set up and started with it. Um, it's actually quite a good miner because it does include a lot of start-up uh, batch files. You can use it to mine uh, Ravencoin, Pigeoncoin and um, lots of other uh, algorithms. If you look through, like I say, it's got quite a few um, different proof-of-work algorithm support. So you can see you can mine all these other different uh, types of coins there. Uh, it also includes some hex algorithm uh, samples for you. Um, but if you download the using uh, my link, um, I'll include uh, basically everything that you need to get set up and started with this. So if you open up or you can create your own one, um, I've created this XDNA uh, Supernova batch file. So if we edit that, we'll take a look inside and I'll show you, I'll break down uh, the components to it. So you've got the echo off and start, you don't really need to worry about those. That's just basically to edit the display and it helps to restart the miner. So starting on the first line of the actual mining code if you like, so we've got the call to the miner, so it's Z dash enemy, so basically that loads the program. And then you've got dash A, so that's going to be loading our algorithm. So that algorithm is hex for XDNA. Then we've got our pull details, so it's dash O straight plus TCP colon forward slash, and then we've got our address. So previously, if you use pull mining on supernova pool, uh, you now need to use a new pool uh, just to make you aware of that. So it's xdna.supernova.cc, colon, and then make sure you're using that this new port if you're mining on Supernova. Then we've got our username. So in this case, it's risky fire, and then a full stop or a period. And then we've got our worker name, which is worker free. If you're using Supernova, you need to add uh, these worker names into the, the pool configuration. Um, so I'll show you that in just a second, but you can't just add a nickname, you need to um, set uh, these as uh, nicknames. Then we've got dash p, uh, just a basic password which is x. Um, it's not used for any uh, login or anything information like that. Uh, so you can, I just have that as x by default. And then we've got dash f. So this last part is an optional switch. Um, you should only really need it if you get like a weird readout on your mining hash rate. So I will actually close the miner there. Um, so yeah, try it with or without the switch and um, yeah, so just see how it goes for you. I've, I've added it because it seems to make the, um, the display um, slightly clearer. And then the last part is go to start. So if the miner crashes, it will just go back to start and it will restart again. So you want to save that, go to file, save as, and then enter your name and then dot bat and then save as type. You want to save as all files. And then when you save it, it gets saved as a dot bat file and not a text file. So in this case, it will just overwrite it. So that's a batch file ready to start up and use. And I'll just um, start it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Just got the window configuration a bit wide uh, to help with the burst miner. So it starts up, it shows you your pool details. We've got no failover pools. And then it tells us that we are gonna be mining on, um, sorry, the pool with one thread and then goes through and starts there. So then you will see these accepted shares and that's what you want to be looking for is 
a good number of accepted shares. And if you leave it running for a few minutes, you will see that your speed increases slightly. And then, like I say, with this GTX uh, 1050 Ti, uh, I was getting roughly around about 4,400 or 4.4 .4, uh, mega hashes. Uh, the clock details that I'm using. So I've reduced the power limit to 80%. Uh, the core clock is plus 100, so that gives us 1873. And the memory clock is plus 500, so it's 4,004 uh, megahertz. Um, and that normally runs uh, pretty well with this. Uh, also, one other kind of a quite important point is use the latest NVIDIA drivers. So I'm using 398.82. Um, if you use old drivers, you probably get uh, problems when using this particular miner. So make sure you use the latest NVIDIA drivers, okay? So that's the miner up and running. Like I say, it will slowly increase um, over time. And now let's just take a quick look at the pool. So the pool that we're using is xdna.supernova.cc. And you can see this is, that's where I just sort of pause the miner just to um, show you how that works. And then on this main dashboard, you'll see uh, our hash rate increasing um, over time as we continue on. So that's sort of details for the pool. Uh, one other point is just to show you the um, account, like I said about adding those workers. If you go to your, in this section, it's my workers. And here you can see the, the workers that I've got. So make sure you add in a new worker. All you need to do is add their name here. So for example, demo, and the password will be X. And then you just add a new worker and that gets added to your list. You can see I've already previously done that at some point uh, down there. So that's it for adding your uh, workers. From that point, we'll just take a quick look at the XDNA wallet. So assuming you want to uh, edit your funds, etc. I've already got a payment address which is set here on the pool and it's set to automatically pay out at 0.1 um, XDNA or you can do manual payouts um, if you wish. I already have the wallet running. You don't need to have it running to send, well to receive, sorry. Um, but just to show you how you get your address, so your wallet loads up and looks a little bit like this transactions and then you can just do demo for example request payment and then you use this address here which is for receiving and this is the address that you would then copy back to the pool there okay so I know I'm just kind of um, skimming through this not going super into detail but um, like I say I have done it more uh, in detail in the past so this is really just a kind of a, a bit of a catch up really Okay guys, so that's it. Me has been mining XDNA using the brand new algorithm which is called HEX and we've been using the Zminer. So all the links and everything that you need will be in the video description and I'll leave it there for this one. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.